For five generations, the Schultz family has been smoking up some of the world's very best barbecue and smoked meats at the finest tourist trap in Texas, the Bear Creek Smokehouse. Earlier today, we went outside the studio where Robbie Schultz tried to teach me how to make the perfect smoked brisket. Well, we're here with Robbie Schultz from uh, Bear Creek out in Texas. You're gonna show us a little about how to do a Texas brisket, because I gotta admit, pork may be great in Arkansas, but son, when it comes to beef, nobody beats Texas with the brisket. Governor, once you cross that border, we go to beef. All right, we're gonna prep it, we're yeah. gonna season it, and then we're gonna cook it. We are, so we've got, I like to use the prime briskets, yep. but a lot of times I'll take my knife and just kinda do a little trim up on them. All right. I'm just gonna go with some of this uh, loose fat right here, cut that off. I'm gonna go around the side now of this. Now some people would wonder, are you taking a lot of flavor out by doing well, that? Well, a little bit, but um, it actually saves a lot of grease going down in your pit and maybe causing mm. a fire or whatever. And it's all so, about healthy food too, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, of yeah, course it is. Healthy food. That's what we're okay, doing. Okay, we're gonna flip this over. Okay, so um, this is the flat down here yep. and this is the end with the decal on it. It usually has a little more fat. So I'm gonna just remove a little bit more of that. Mm -hmm. And that looks great. Let's put some of that rub on there. Let's do it. Just go for it. All right. There we go. I love the, the dry rubs. And you know, what kind of uh, wood do you like to smoke with? Governor? You know, it depends on the meat. If it's pork, I kind of like some uh, apple wood or pecan. Um, hickory's great always, mesquite. Right. You know? Right. We uh, don't have much mesquite, pine, believe it. And no, I'm kidding no, about pine, the pine. pine. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Let's get a little bit right here. I'm gonna flip this baby over. All right. So here we go. We're gonna put a little on the back side. I like to cook my briskets at around 250, somewhere right around in there, and um, get them up to an internal temperature of about 200 to get them nice 200. and tender. Yes, sir. So, you know, if you put too much heat on a brisket, a lot of times it'll work just like trying to wring out a sponge. It'll yeah. just shrivel up and all the juice is gonna like drip. It's gonna go out the bottom of the pit. But you're gonna cook it to 200 for how long? Two, about 250, and I'd say about 12 to 15 hours. Wow, that's a long, now, good time to it, really break it down. Yeah, 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 but it's gonna, it's normally Let's a tough- Let's get the sides uh, on that sucker. Sure, it's normally a tough cut of meat, but if you do it low and slow, it's gonna turn out to be one of the most tender, juicy cuts of meats you the ever put in The way God intended it to be, That's right, right that's right. That's ain't, looking beautiful. Ain't no right vegans there. around here, that's for no, sure. Sir. No. All right. All right. That is looking really nice. Mm -hmm. um, so, now what we would do is actually take this over and put it on the smoker. And the okay. way I like to do them is put them with the fat, fat side up. up. Let it get down and put yeah. the flavor in it. Absolutely. So, um, you know, you just, it, it takes, it's a process, but I like to get the, the nice bark on the outside yeah. of the brisket. And then I'll take a butcher paper, a non-waxed paper, and it's available at a, a lot of like yeah. barbecue places. Grab some of that, wrap it up, and then finish it off in the smoker. And it, that helps to like finish it off with a little moisture inside So you don't do it package. in foil, you do it in a, like a parchment paper or a butcher paper? It's, it's butcher paper. Okay. And you know what? I started to bring one. I thought these people are gonna think I'm crazy. Uh, we have longhorns. And so yeah. a lot of times I'll take an empty uh, cattle cube bag, uh -huh. put my brisket down in there, wrap it up and put it on the smoker mm -hmm. and it works great. It's, they're triple layered and it keeps all that moisture in and they're just turn out wonderful. I'm, but, gonna, uh, I'm gonna trust you on that, I am. Yeah, you ain't gonna try it, are you? All right. No, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna let anybody else try it, but I'm gonna try it, I absolutely. Hear you. I hear you, but they, they turn out great that way. Yeah. Take them out the, you know, when they're done and just slice on this end, starting that way. And I, let me show you what we Let's got. Let's take a look. Here. All right. Oh yeah. So um, this is a reverse flow smoker. I got the business end right down here where the fire is. Ooh, that's hot. Mm. And then, so the smoke comes through here, the smoke and heat comes through here and goes right out the tailpipe wow. right here. Well, I think it's about time for us to uh, give it a try. Well, earlier today, Robbie Schultz and I were outside. We were doing a little cooking. And Robbie, I'm telling you, this is so fantastic. This is a genuine Texas brisket, isn't it? 
Yes, sir. Well, we had to bring a little taste of Texas all the way up to Tennessee to show I'm, you I'm, folks how we do it down yonder. I am glad you did the, the Bear Creek <clears throat> Smokehouse Method. You, how many pounds of meat a year do y'all go through? A couple million. No kidding. Yes. Literally a couple of million. Mm -hmm. Not just in this, but we do a lot of pork bellies, bacon. All right, I think what we should do <clears throat> is cut into a little bit of this and try it. Now, you've got a couple of sauces that you guys make. Yeah, I've got our barbecue sauce. I've got a jalapeno honey mustard. Okay, okay. here we go. We got a little bit of our German sausage here. All right. I'm just going to cut a little bit of it. Do you mind okay. if I just give you a little dip? I don't mind at all. There you go. Speaking of little dips, Trey's over there. We're going to see if he's... A, we're, <laughs> I mean, that was, that was a layup, man. Now let me give you a little shot of this uh, Polish okay. sauce here, just a little more red pepper. Mm -hmm. So you may, do you want it with the mustard or do you want it plain? Let me try it with that other sauce. With the barbecue sauce, okay. There we go. And it may take me 10 or 12 to really know what I like it. Yeah, I hear you. Well, I could cut more. Mm. But actually, <clears throat> I like the pepper in that. It's nice. I really so. do. Got some bite to it. It's nice. Now, you also brought some of your uh, rub. Yeah, this, so this is what we used uh, earlier on the brisket. Yeah. You know, we rubbed it down. Uh, we trimmed it a little bit, rubbed it down. It's just a, uh, a bunch of simple spices, salt, pepper. Um, it's got, let's see, what else? Paprika, garlic powder, a little onion powder. Are we going to slice a little of this? Yeah, you I, betcha. I thought you'd never so, ask. So, so here we go. Oh, man, um, look, at look at that. Look at that smoker. Oh, look at that. That is just as perfect. Look at that. We're supposed to know what we're doing down in Texas. I believe you do. There we go. Mm. See, see what you think. Can y'all smell that? Mm. That will set you free right there, I'm telling you. Yes, sir. That's yes, how sir. brisket's supposed to be done. I yeah. gotta admit, we can do pork in Arkansas, but ain't nobody can do beef any better than the people in Texas. That's the way it's supposed to be done. <laughs> I appreciate mm. it. Thank you, thank mm. you. We love doing it. Mm. it. It's not a quick process, you know. It's a, it's you a told 12 me to out 15. There, 12 to 15 hours? Yes, sir. Mm. Be yeah, up all it, night. It takes a little patience and a little time. I got a mouthful of meat. <laughs> but I got to tell these folks something. If you want your copy of The Bear Bottom Bliss, this book, this wonderful cookbook, I've been looking through it, go to the website, check them out on social media.